My name is Matti. I'm here talking about the receiving sensitivity. Let's, let's take an example from this kind of audio situation. When somebody is listening inside the house and somebody is trying to shout outside. If there is a situation that you are very deep inside the house, you cannot hear what this other person is doing. So you are actually asking that what's happening. And uh, what will happen is that you are going to change the place you are walking next to the door. In the same way, when you are trying to make the embedded antenna designing, you have to figure out that what is the best place for the antenna to listen the signal coming outside. So basically, when you are placing the antenna in the correct place, the antenna can hear what is told outside. And in the same way, when you are listening next to the doorway, you are easily hearing the message outside. One thing to keep in mind is the antenna really needs space around. So you can imagine that you are in the small room, very tight, it's very hard to listen. The same way antenna cannot hear if it's very tight space, all the metals around. So they need to be space around, very open area to get really good connection. The interference. Interference could happen, for example, in the audio situation, that there is a music inside blocking your hearing what is done sent outside. Or it could be some random noise like electric drill in the neighborhood or something like that, which is blocking your hearing the signal. If there is a radio system, you are actually having a protocols which are taking care of this kind of fixing the situation, asking higher transmitting power, so you are more easily listening from the outside. Or you could have some protocol which is uh, for example, resending the message when this random noise is off. But if you think about what you can do inside the house or inside the device in electronics, you can try to change the places of these components so they are not disturbing each other, or you can uh, try to get rid of the noise, but very often it's not possible because you need to have these features in. So the next option is that you try to isolate these. For example, you put the noise in the different room or actually you add the shielding around them and uh, it will help the situation. So if you think about the electronics, there is all kind of memory buses, camera interfaces, switch mode power supplies. All of these are causing this extra noise which need to be handled either damping them or shielding them or just by locating the different components in different place in the design. So basically it means that antenna designing is something you really need to start in the concept design phase. When you make the big placement of the biggest components, batteries, these memory buses, cameras, displays, they are all affecting how well your antenna is hearing outside. Just remember the antenna needs space around it to work properly because as in the room, you cannot hear if you are really tight room, but if you have space around, you can hear more easily what's happening outside. So please remember, have the room around the antenna and check that other component placements are not in the wrong place.